Ozark Speedway, Missouri State Penitentiary Night at the Speedway. Well, we are ready to go racing this time. David Melloway, Justin Russell to the green. Well, yellow flag, yellow flag on the back straight away. The, uh, that first start not looking very good. We're going to re-rack them and try this one one more time. Well, Stanley Henson giving that front row an emphatic warning this last time down the front stretch. Yellow light out. We are going to give it one more go this time. Again, David Melloway and Johnston Russell. Well, the green flag flying high. It's going to be Russell Motor now to the early lead down in turn number two, followed by David Melloway and Kurt Potter. Oh, big trouble, turn four. Well, caution flag flying. It is the 23 of Mark Simon. Mark Simon around. He collects the eight of Harold Fox. You can see heavy, heavy body damage on the right side of the eight machine of Harold Fox. Well, once again, the eight machine of Harold Fox being hailed to the pit area. You can see that extensive body damage. He's gonna need some attention from the crew. Well, the 23 of Mark Simon not looking too bad after that contact when he got around in turn four. And there goes the eight machine of Fox heading to the hot pit. Well, this caution plan before we get that first lap in the books will be a complete restart coming your way in the raised lawn and landscape main event. Well, tough break, Fox not able to rejoin the action on track, green flag. Well, it's gonna be Russell once again, showing them down the back stretch. David Melloway, Henson and Potter are top four drivers at lap number one. Caution flag in the air, turn two, turn two. It is going to be the uh, seven of Dwayne Vandelick around turn two, yellow flag. Well, you can see the nose piece damage has been on the uh, seven of Van Lick. We'll speculate a little contact, perhaps. Well, one lap complete, 24, 24 to go.
All right, 24 big ones remain coming to the green flag this time. It is going to be the 12J Johnston Russell leading them back to green. Well, good battle down in turn number four. Kurt Potter, Chuck Malloway trade positions after the restart. Out in front, it continues to be Russell showing away over David Melloway and Henson. Trouble turns one and two, turns one and two. The 38 of Stephen Potter, the three of Vandelik. Sit turns one and two. Looks like the 2K Ricky Kimberly may have a little piece of that as well. Well, the three of Wade Vandelick able to drive away from the carnage in turns one and two. The 38 ounce of Stephen Ponder on the move as well. Well, just that quick, drivers jumping into the right position. We are ready to go. 23 remain, 23 to go. Once again, Johnston Rosshall leads the field back to green. Well, battle brewing for the number three position is the 11B of Kurt Potter putting the pressure on Derek Henson for the number three spot out front. Russell and Melloway continue to show the way. Oh, trouble into turn number one. Chuck Melloway and the 66 T of Banker. Tangle, both drivers doing a good job keeping them under control. And trouble turn number four, turn four. The 66 T of Becker looks like left rear tire. Left rear tire down on the 66 T of Becker. Well, we're gonna speculate a direct result of the contact with the 10 machine of Chuck Melloway's. You'll see the left rear down on. Well, Becker making his way down to the hot pit area here in just a moment. So hopefully the banker crew ready to go with a new left rear tire. Well, Becker retiring from this event, heading to the trailer. Yellow light will be turned down on the back stretch. Once again, now five in the books, 20 to go, 20 laps remain. Once again, it is going to be Johnston Russell leading that charge down to the green flag, followed by Melloway and the 27 of Derek Henson, your top three. Well, Russell working right to the middle of the speedway. Once again, wins the race back to the flag stand. Six complete, 19 remain, 19 to go. 
Kurt Potter and Hansen racing hard for the third spot. Give it to Potter this time through one and two. David Melloway now making up a bit of ground on your race leader, Justin Russell. Well, Mellaway closing on Russell. We have got a battle brewing for the lead. Mellaway once again to the left rear of Russell down in the middle of turns one and two. We'll follow back into tire tracks into turns three and four. As now Russell moves down to cover the bottom of the speedway. Well, everybody's starting to spread out a bit around the Speedway. Best race on track is for the lead. Continuing to be Russell and Malloway, followed by Kurt Potter. Henson now a lot of smoke chasing the Chuck Malloway machine off turn number two as Malloway slows here on the back stretch. And fire under the hood as Malloway exits here on the back straightaway. Well, it appeared the motor may have just let loose on the zero machine for the tent machine of Mellaway as he quickly exited here on the back stretch. Well, we are just a couple laps short of the halfway mark for tonight's late model feature event. It has been all Justin Russell up to this point as he has showed the way all 11 laps. That rearview mirror has been filled up by the 14 of David Melloway since that last restart at lap number five. Well, just that quick, it's Stanley Henson showing the field the upper right flag, alerting him to be ready to go next time. One to go, one to go. Well, they tighten them up bumper to bumper in the middle of turns three and four. Once again, green flag waving high over the field here in your late model feature event. And a full contact action through turns one and two. And trouble turn four, turn four. A little contact turns one and two and maybe a little payback in three and four caution caution in air the 27 of Henson around the three of Vandalik spinning to avoid Well, 12 in the books, 12 in the books, 13 remain as caution flag waves. Well, Henson still sitting on the speedway in turn number four. Well, hopefully it's push start will allow the motor to refire on the 27 machine indeed able to get it done and it looks like Henson looking to exit here on the back stretch
Well, Henson making his way to the Han pit area will be extended a two lap courtesy to get the repairs made to his machine. And just that quickly making his return. Way. Well, the 23 machine of Mark Simon in trouble early has raced his way back into the top five as we'll pick up the green flag action. Well, once again, David Melloway picks up his pursuit of race leader, Johnston Russell, off turn number two. Ricky Kimberlin locked up in a good battle for the fourth position. He and Billings race door to door. Looks like possibly the left front damage has been on the Henson entry. It looks like the right front tire. Excuse me, left front doing a little wobbling. But Russell continued to show the way Malloway all over that back bumper. Now the 7V of Vandalik taking it infield as that battle for the lead continues to rage here in the turns one and two. Well, our leader's starting to roll away from the field. Six to go this time. Well, it's once again going to be Melloway looking to the left rear of Russell. Not able to make a move down in turn number two. We'll follow into turns three and four as we'll look at five to go this time. Well, Russell continues to work the bottom of the speedway. Well, the bottom groove certainly the preferred line in tonight's late model main event may take a little contact to root the 12J of Russell off the spot. Twenty-three in the books, only two to go, two to go. Russell now starting to get a, a few car lengths of breathing room over Melloway for that Tom Spunt. Kurt Potter settles in a third, followed by Ricky Kimberling, Billings and Potter. White flag flying off turn number four, one to go, Johnston Russell. And out of turn number four, it's going to be Johnston Russell, late model feature winner. David Melloway brings it home in a runner-up position. Kurt Potter third, Ricky Kimberling fourth in the 23 of Mark Simon to round out your top five. Well, I believe the second time this season, it is the 12J of Johnston Russell heading to Lake Ozark Speedway Victory Lane as he pockets $1,000 
for his effort in tonight's raised lawn and landscaping late model feature. Hey folks, I hate to break a little bad news. We've got some weather starting to get threatening in the area, so we are gonna postpone the fireworks. I apologize, but the weather becoming threatening. We are gonna postpone the fireworks in order to get you folks out of here safely. Well, get ready to put your hands together. Late model feature winner, Johnston Russell in Lake Ozark Speedway Victory Lane. Ooh, that was a dang good one there, right there. I'm gonna tell you something, Justin, had a down tonight. I think he's going to be really proud of what he did tonight. But he's got some great sponsors. He's going to climb out of here in a second. We're going to get to see all, all that stuff. Woohoo! Hey, happy birthday tomorrow, girl. Kaylee, it's your birthday tomorrow. Oh, it's not. I thought it was. All right, Justin Russell. All right, the driver to twelve J. Here he comes. He got it done tonight, buddy. You did a great job out there. Pull over around here. Oh. Just, oh, yeah. We got a good look. You're doing you know, good stuff. But, no, you did a wonderful job tonight. You led it basically pretty much. Yeah. Uh, the track started going away there at the end, and it was rutting up on me a little bit. But uh, I, I can get used to being down here. You know what? We'd like for you to be here. You know what? Hey, you did a whale of a job. Uh, you got some people you'd like to thank. Oh, yeah, I'd like to thank uh, Tacon TMI, Coastal Electric, Caden Z Contracting, Bogey Sports Bar and Grill, and let me think here, Fortress Security and Alarms, and I got uh, uh, White Glove Inspection, and my mom, my dad, my pit crew, my whole family that comes and helps us, and I'd really like to thank Billy Moyer Jr. He's helped me get this car dialed in. He's uh, become a pretty good friend of mine, and uh, as you can tell, it kind of shows. There you go, there you go. Everybody give this man a round of applause in driver number 12. That is Justin Russell. Well, folks, that's a wrap on the action here tonight on behalf of the Trimble family, BAM Motorsports, and the entire crew here at the Lake Ozark Speedway. We appreciate having you out with us on Missouri State Penitentiary Night at the Lake Ozark Speedway. Once again, the fireworks display will be rescheduled for a later time. The weather becoming threatening here in the area, so we're just going to try to get you on out of here in an orderly fashion before the bad weather comes rolling into the speedway. Well, on behalf of all the good folks here at Speedway, we loved having you out. Hope you enjoyed yourself, and we'll hope to have you right back out here next Saturday night for the Steward House Night at the Lake Ozark Speedway. Well, until then, travel safely. Have a great week. God bless you, and we'll see you back out here next weekend.